Elliot, thank you for taking the time. You're obviously the founder of Rain Dance Film Festival, which we're here for tonight. Uh, an incredible setup, incredible film tonight for our kids. Now, tell me what the inspiration behind Rain Dance is, full stop, and uh, what your vision was with the company and where you're taking it. We'd love to find out a bit more. Back in 1993, there were so few British films, and those few British films that existed didn't get screened anywhere. They got put inside the World Cinema Strand at the big festivals like London and Edinburgh. So I thought, start a festival for British independent film. And then I found out something quite disgusting about you British, which is your snobs. Oops. And you didn't see a big logo on our festival message. You still don't, by the way. And it took about five years for British people to realize it was kind of cool to have a film festival to celebrate their work right in the heart of the West End, as we are here tonight. It's ram-packed here tonight mm. for the amazing film Our Kid. Yes, incredible. That's fantastic. So quite a few years back now. Um, how has it evolved over the last couple years? Is it exactly as it was before or has it changed and evolved into a different movement and a different sort of concept? What would you say? Nothing really has changed. It's still for debut films. We Our tagline is, is Discover, Be Discovered. This year we have a sponsor called Mango, okay. which is a pill that cures erectile dysfunction and our <coughs> image is Eros, the god of love and desire and it's all about the love of film. Mm. So nothing's really changed. We're a little slicker maybe now, uh, fewer empty seats, most of our screenings are completely sold out. Incredible. It looks to me like everyone's trying to get rid of the Hollywood, you know, you know, whatever, mm. and find the truly innovative works by passionate filmmakers like Sean Cronin, as this film is, and films that change people's lives. Yes, absolutely. And so in terms of all the films of obviously you've seen and, and hosted and, you know, been part of, what would you say is one of the highlights about what you guys do now? I mean, what would you say is the thing that gives you most energy, most joy, most excitement? You know, earlier today, a filmmaker who had a short film in the festival about 15 years ago came up and said, you know what, having that short film in our festival changed their life, and now they are a very major motion picture director. That guy's name is David Yates, who does all the Harry Potter films. Wow. So things like that happen, and the thing is, anyone who wants to explore their creativity can touch Raindance, either through our film school, through our networking events, <coughs> or indeed through the film festival, and if you make a film, and if it's good enough, then you will have yourself the ability to experience something like this. Incredible. And so on the other flip side, what would you say was one of the most challenging, uh, you know, most challenging things you've experienced during building this and building momentum, getting people involved, getting funding, I'm sure, getting people interested? What would you say is one of the, the biggest walls or barriers you've, you've encountered throughout the process? Well, we've never got funding ever in 31 years, not a single penny from the BFI. But wow. what I have found is that if you get your marketing right and get the word out right, there's enough people with oneers, fivers, and tenors willing to donate and support Raindance and to uh, independent film, if I might be a little passionate for a minute, mm. is so important yeah. because the independent filmmakers are the prophets of today that help us process all the that's happening on. As we had prophets 3,000 years ago, 3,000 years ago we had Noah's Ark, mm. we had pandemics, we had pestilence, mm. and the stories they told to soothe and calm and guide the people then are so good that they are still being talked about today yeah. as why we need filmmakers, independent filmmakers today to be the prophets of 2023, mm. helping you and I process all this crazy mm. news that I yep. hate looking at the news. Yeah, yep, exactly. No, it's absolutely mad. mad. Too much. No, that's perfect. That was incredible. So what's your vision, would you say, for the next, next five years, would you say? What you, where you want to take it from now? Obviously, all this experience, all these learning less curves and you know, lessons, where are you thinking of taking Rain Dance for the next five years? Rain Dance is about being better. It's just the cool boutique with the cool stuff you can't find anywhere else. Mm. And by the way, Rain Dance is not a film festival. Mm. It's Rain dance. Yeah, <laughs> it's rain dance. Difference. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Elliot. I really, really appreciate uh, talking to you. Thank you so much for your insights and um, have a lovely evening and enjoy the film. You Thank you. Too. Take care. Right, Thank thanks. you. Cheers. Thanks for your time.